What's going on guys? Adam again back with Atomic Garage and in this video we are going to talk about the belt and disc sander that I bought from Harbor Freight and revealed in my last video. We're going to hop into that review and talk about how I feel about this tool. Coming up in this video. Drop that intro. Alright guys, so this is the belt and disc sander that I bought from Harbor Freight for $59.99. and Usually I try to wait an extended period of time for me to give a true uh, example of how I feel about a certain tool or whatever the case may be. Uh, I really didn't have to wait on this one right here. Now that could either mean two things. That could either mean this tool is outstanding or that could also mean that this tool is absolutely garbage. And unfortunately, this tool is garbage. This tool is no good. Uh, when I jump on this, actually, you know, when I think about a belt sander, I think about being able to, if I am fabricating a bracket or something, I should be able to get it to close to flat or whatever shape I'm trying to get. Then I can take it over here and I can finish and fine tune that bad boy or, or make a bracket flat and straight so it can mate up to another surface. That's what I think of. Now, when you put any kind of decent pressure, any kind of decent pressure on this thing, it automatically stalls out. Do you know how annoying that is? So I don't have a bandsaw. So sometimes my cut, even with my uh, angle grinder, can be pretty good. It's still not perfect. It's got the little wookity wookity going on. I'll be honest with you. So I want it to have this tool here so I can go ahead and put it up there and it can grind it flat and it'll be perfect and I can just move on and keep on strolling. Unfortunately, it's not the case. It's, it's, it's not the case at all. And it's not the build quality because the build quality is what's to be expected. It's not terrible, it's fine. But, and the, the belt isn't the problem either. It's the actual motor. And one of the gentlemen that posted uh, his comment in my last video, I forgot his name, but he said, oh my God, this is his uh, grinder that he has and it gave him problems. And I was praying, I was saying, please don't, don't, don't let it be bad. But unfortunately it is. Unfortunately, when you need it to perform, it doesn't perform as good. So while I was trying to fabricate this uh, hood scoop for my car, which one is not perfect and two, I'm not going to say I am a metal fabricator. I'm not going to say that at all, not by a long shot, but I know what I want in certain tools and the motor on it is just simply not powerful enough. Now I'm going to look and see if maybe there's any mods or anything like that that can be done to make it better, but this is only good for really thin aluminum maybe or really thin sheet metal that you're just trying to round a corner or something like that. Because if you have anything thick, any kind of thick metal that you're trying to knock down even, you're going to be upset. You're going to be disappointed. And at 60 bucks, you'd be disappointed. You'd be disappointed. So I would say that this is one tool that certainly I would avoid, personally. So with that being said about this bench grinder, I'm going to keep my eye out for another one. And hopefully... I can find one that's a decent price, but also performs the job as as it should. Uh, overall, if I had to give this tool a letter grade, I would give it a D for the simple fact that it's not strong enough to do any kind of heavy grinding, which is what you would think it would be for, unfortunately, because what you would expect this to deliver, it doesn't come close to it at all. It stalls out quite a bit on you and it doesn't have enough grunt or anything to get the job done. It, as opposed to my bench press, that was the same price really, I wanna say about 60 bucks or so, I haven't been able to stall that motor out at all. But this motor, certainly, it doesn't have the guts to do a whole lot. So I'm gonna keep my eye out for another tool that will do the job and not break the bank as it were, but avoid this tool from Harbor Freight if you can. So rest in peace, bench grinder.
anyway that's the video for today i appreciate you guys for checking out this video i tried to give as much insight as i possibly can thank you for all the support that i get from you guys if you guys have any questions or comments or anything like that please feel free to say it below i'd like to respond to each and every one of you guys uh thank you again please drop a like to this video and if you're new please consider subscribing to this channel uh, this is not the first review video I've done. I've got many more. You can take a look at them. And we'll try and do some things with my car. But the hood scoop that I tried fabricating and grinding on with this, it's, it's, it's not really pretty. So that's it for today. Thank you guys for checking out. Peace.